in this problem let us try to understand the difference between transformer and other rotating machines basically rotating machines in the sense one part of the machine should be rotating in the sense between stator and rotor area will be there so in this like you know i'm going to take the first problem without any air gap and i'm going to take the second problem in the same way with air gap such that means between transformer and all other rotating machines what are the differences we will come to know okay so in this problem you can uh, find this problem in our uh, pdf already it is there to download free of cost okay so just download that and uh, keep that with you while uh, going through the problems anyway in this find operating flux and energy stored for given magnetic circuit with number of turns of 100 length of core of 2000 centimeter area of cross section of core is 25 centimeter square current injected is 1 ampere and relative permeability is 2500 as i told you before we are not supposed to remember any formulas at all okay so any magnetic circuit given how to analyze magnetic circuit as per our previous discussion we have to convert into analogous electrical circuit for magnetic circuit so here i'm going to have only one reluctance of the iron so one reluctance i have taken okay now what is the reluctance formula like you know reluctance in electrical technology resistance resistance rho l by a 1 by sigma l by a in this 1 by mu l by a so we did not remember anything now in this let me calculate reluctance and they have given 100 number of turns and the current is 1 ampere so mmf is going to be number of turns into current mmf is going to be 100 ampere turns if i can find the reluctance directly i can find the flux okay so what is reluctance now it is going to be 1 by mu naught is how much we know for free space this is going to be 4.2 to the power of minus 7 into how much is the relative permeability they have given is 2500 into length of the core length of the core 2000 centimeters or i can say 20 meters 20 divided by how much is the area of cross section of the core 25 centimeters square or i can say 25 into 10 to the power of minus 4 okay now always we have to remember to keep especially ies uh, descriptive guys like you know always we should give dimensions so what is reluctance what is resistance voltage by current what is reluctance mmf by flux mmf ni ampere turns flux webers so dimension is going to be ampere turns per weber okay now if you calculate this this is going to be 2.54 into 10 to the power of 6 so many ampere turns per weber now let us calculate how much is the flux how much is the current okay kind of from electrical side current is going to be voltage by resistance yeah my flux is going to be mmf by reluctance so flux is going to be mmf by reluctance is going to be 100 divided by reluctance is 2.54 my god uh, into 10 to the power of 6 so it will become micro webers okay so this will come to 39.37 micro webers now what is the second question second question asked in this is energy stored has to be calculated okay but we didn't remember any formula not required see what is energy stored equal to half l i square and what is l l equal to n pi by i so keep that here so this is going to be energy the energy stored is going to be half into n pi by i n pi by i into i square will be n pi i so this is going to be half into number of terms are 100 into operating flux already we calculated 39.37 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into how much is current 1 ampere okay which will come to 1.96 milli joules okay so in this way we are going to calculate now let us take the same problem and let us give a small air gap how much is the air gap it should be least okay so that is going to be this problem okay so in this problem repeat the problem to calculate current to be injected for operating flux of section a so operating flux i want to maintain same okay so operating flux i want to maintain same of 39.37 microwebers okay for that if i keep a small air gap how my current is going to be varied okay now let us see here 
reluctance of core is there from here to here and reluctance of area will be there okay so let us calculate reluctance of core equal to 1 by mu l by a okay so how much is this 1 by mu naught 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 into 2500 is relative permeability into length of the core length of the core is how much length of the actually total core is 20 meters or 2000 uh, centimeters okay so out of 2000 centimeters i removed and i kept a air gap here from here to here this air gap is just 2 mm okay so how much is the length of uh, what do you say flux in my magnetic core is going to be 2000 centimeter in the sense 20,000 mm minus 2 mm is going to be 19,998 so 19,998 mm or 19.998 meters divided by area of cross section of the core is going to be same so 25 into 10 to the power of minus 4 now we know what is the difference in our previous problem and this problem in our previous problem this was 20 and now this is going to be 19.998 and what was the answer previously into 10 to the power of 6 so if i keep 20 or 19.998 there will not be any difference so directly i can take 2.54 into 10 to the power of 6 so many ampere turns per paper okay now let me calculate reluctance of air gap reluctance of air gap is going to be how much 1 by mu naught relative permeability is going to be 1 and length of air gap is going to be 2 mm so 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters divided by area of cross section of flux in the air gap same as previous okay so this will come to 0.64 into 10 to the power of 6 so many ampere turns per paper now reluctance of the core i found reluctance of the area i found this plus this total reluctance into flux will give you mmf that mmf divided by 100 turns will give the current so how much is the mmf now is going to be this plus this into this How much is the current now so if i want to calculate current is going to be mmf divided by 100 turns this will give you one point roughly 25 amperes okay now let us observe the difference see in order to produce in our previous problem okay 13 point uh, 39.37 microbers of flux okay one ampere was sufficient but now in rotating machines in this sense air gap is compulsory essential in rotating machines so in order to take in rotating machines even if you have a smallest air gap then also in order to produce the same flux current is forced to be increased to 25 percent more okay so that's why for example let me think of no load current of transformer no load current of induction motor both our operating principles are similarly like you know almost in the same lines but still in transformer my no load current will be very small 2 to 6 percent of full load current but in induction motor it will be 30 to 45 percent of full load current why because in induction motor air gap is there okay now anyway let me calculate the energy stored in the air gap okay so what is energy stored is going to be half l i square I did not remember any formula okay so in that what is L n pi by i so this is going to be half n pi i okay L is going to be n pi by i i i will get cancelled n pi i now actually flux in the area we know but current and number of terms we don't know so m i has to be converted into some other terms what is that so half into flux into what is number of terms multiplied by current is going to be mmf okay so what is mmf mmf is nothing but operating flux multiplied by reluctance so operating flux multiplied by reluctance in the air gap because he asked us to calculate energy stored in the air gap only so half pi square pi is 39.37 microbers and after that what is reluctance of air gap 0.64 into 10 to the power of 6 under that conditions if you calculate it will come down to around 496 microjoules Okay.